What is up guys, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an advanced teleport GUI. First what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to open Roblox Studio and then we're going to use edit mode. So get that up and then click edit mode so that we could just fly around freely. So yeah, so you would consider getting this. now. Now go up here to part and click it and then you receive a part. So um, yeah, we, you, you can redecorate if you want but right now we're not going to because yeah, I'm basically going to try to rush this tutorial a bit but I'm going to make it as simple as that. So um, name your part called spawn location. So um, yeah, there you go. So change the appearance, what you like and yeah, do whatever you want with it in properties, but um, do as I say though, anchor this and then uncan collide this. So that means like untick this can collide bit because we want to go through the brick when we spawn. And the anchor it's bit, oh I just turn it off. So anchor that one because then the, the brick will st will stay stay off the ground. Well, it's basically stay in the air more quickly. So we don't want that to fall down and might like, screw up our teleportation. So yeah. Now we're going to make the GUI, which which is possibly the main bit in the tutorial. So we're going to make a teleport GUI, so get the screen GUI by clicking, right click and then insert basic object and then find screen GUI. Well I got that up right now. Now we're going to make it, we're going to call it teleport GUI. It's basically what it's called. Now we're going to insert another basic object called frame. We'll name that black screen. Because basically we want, we want to make our screen black before the uh, the player uh, the, the player teleports. God, why do I st why did I stutter too much? It's annoying, isn't it? Do you find it annoying when you stutter when you're like talking to people and you know, you're just like, oh my god, I, what am I gonna say? <laughs> so now, excuse my phone, guys. So we resize it to one by one in X's. And then we're going to make this transparent. Hang on a second. All right. Now we're going to get another um, basic object, which is called text button. And then the last basic object, we're going to insert a local script, which we'll do that in a minute. First off, we need to do our uh, GUIs. We've we, we done the black screen, and now the last bit, we're going to do the text button. Now we're going to call it a teleport button because we need our because we need to click it to in order to make our character teleport. Background color white. Keep that. Um, background transparent. Background transparency to zero point three, and the border pixel um. We'll just make it all black. There we go. And the um, position 0 0.5. Make the size 250 by 50. There we go. And then we're going to make it aerial size 24. And then the text we're going to call it is teleport to brick. There we go. And now, all right, now we've done the uh, appearance of it. Now we're going to go into local script. We're going to call it main because because that's we're trying to like assign everything and then uh, do the functioning and that. So um the um the three elements we're going to be using is mouse button one down, mouse enter, and mouse leave. So that's basically the three elements we're going to be using in the function. Right now, first we're going to assign the player game dot players dot local player and then we're, we're going to assign the brick and the GUIs so first off the brick spawn I'm going to assign spawn as script oh sorry um I mean game dot workspace dot spawn location there we go we assign that brick in the workspace now next we're going to do the GUIs so that's going to be black screen script dot parent dot black screen now the teleport button I'm going to call it teleport button 
script dot parent dot teleport button and then there we have it one last thing though has pressed teleport because we need the person to press teleport and then um, then warp himself over to the other side so we're going to do false because we have not pressed it yet now the function we're going to start out as mouse enter teleport button in brackets don't forget that because we're not going to put anything in there we don't want anything put in there because basically that's going to be the name of our mouse enter function so to do that we're going to put in teleport button dot mouse enter because we're going to assign that function as mouse enter colon connect and in brackets we're going to put in the name of the function called mouse enter teleport button all right and there we have it this is a mouse enter function then the next function we're going to we're going to be assigning it as a mouse leaf bit but first off let's do this teleport button we're going to do the font size and the um, color, which I'll show you in a minute. So font size equals in the uh, speech marks size 36 teleport button dot background color free because three dimensional colors color three dot new two five five one um four i guess maybe four <coughs> excuse me All right the next function we're gonna do the mouse leave so we're gonna call it mouse left teleport button in brackets don't forget that teleport button dot mouse leave connect mouse left teleport button go so this is a mouse leaf function now I'm going to do the same as that but a bit, a bit more different so the font size is going to be different the color is going to be different so teleport button dot oh mistake font size equals speech marks size 24 I'm going to have to double check if it's size 24 yep this is size 24 now next we're going to do the background color teleport button dot background color free dimensional color free dot new one 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 that's basically the white color and then the last function we're going to do teleport player and that's when the, the, the player te sorry guys that the the bit where we do teleport player that's when the player presses the teleport button and then he warps himself into another location where the brick is at which i've already put so we're going to do teleport button we're going to have to assign it as mouse button one down because we're going to be clicking it with our um, index finger which we normally use so we mouse button one down which is basically left click connect tell all right froze there teleport player there we go if has pressed teleport to equals false then so that we know that um, the player presses it down and then something's going and then after that something's going to activate which will be the black screen so we're going to do a fade in which will have to deal with transparency at the moment put a wait and then we're going to copy down we're going to copy all this because we need to let it count down to zero as it is going to uh, be a bit of a fade and then the player teleports and then the black screen fades out which is going to be pretty cool. Copy all this. Copy the other. There we go. 
then we're going to count it down with 0 0.9. The point next to the numbers is a decimal point. Uh, for those of you that are doing maths, then you should know about decimal points. Well, most of you probably know already, and so do I. Like, I just finished my maths GCSEs, I'm probably moving on to my A-levels pretty soon. So, 0.1, 0. And then we're going to make our character, we're going to make our character respond to the brick. So we're going to do player dot character, which is our avatar. And then we're going to do a move to, and that's when our character is going to be moving. Then and then we're going to put in brackets spawn dot position, so that so that it teleports the player to uh, the brick that I just assigned it as spawn. And position that's where and that that catches the position of the brick in coordinates. And then we're going to put in a weight. And then we're going to copy all this because we're going to count it back down to one. I mean, count count it back up to one. Sorry. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. There we go. So now we're going to test if this works. I may encounter a problem, so bear with me. I do this loads of times, guys, and then I just thought, oh my god, I'm going to have to sort it out. Right, so now our character has spawned. Our brick is right there, so we're, we're going to teleport to there. Teleport to brick, black screen, and there we go. Our character has been teleported. Well done, me. Right, um, if, if you guys have been following this whilst you're doing it, then well done to all of you. But if you can't, if you find scripting a bit hard, then you can get out my models. It's free of charge. You do not have to pay for it. So basically the models I do on my tutorials, they're going to be a free as always. So yeah, help yourself with one and don't hesitate. Right, if you enjoyed this video, please give this a like and give it a comment if you have any thoughts or anything. And also subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos, which I'm basically going to put, in, put out more tutorial videos. Right, so thank you guys for watching. Peace out.